All right, everyone, so this is the video I've been wanting to make about the interior of the F-150 Lightning XLT. Not so much the tech, because that's gotten plenty of attention in my other videos. Depending on what vehicle you're coming from, trust me, this truck will still feel like a huge upgrade. So for me, it all started with this piece right here. On Ford's website, it looks like it has this little badge and there are these little slots for holding your credit cards or maybe parking vouchers. When I took delivery of my truck, I noticed there is no badge and these slots are totally fake, just for show you can't put anything inside them. That moment made me realize that I wanted to make this video for everyone else. Everybody should know what they're getting when they order their F-150 Lightning XLT. And you may be saying to yourself, why can't I just go to my local dealer and get in a Ford Lightning XLT to see what it's really like? The XLT is a very rare trim right now. So going and seeing one in person would not be easy. That's why I'm sharing my truck with all of you. Now, with that out of the way, I want to start by saying that this interior is a very comfortable, great place to spend time, especially on long road trips. Don't get me wrong. But the first thing I noticed when I got into my new truck was just how many different materials Ford is choosing to use in this XLT interior. And that doesn't fully come across when you look at the build and price tool you can find online. So today, I'm just going to get out of the way and show you all the different materials that you'll be touching and experiencing once you buy your Lightning XLT. So after spending time in the interior and filming this video, I've noticed that Ford has kind of gone with a high to low approach. So everything up near the top of the truck where your arms tend to be hanging out is nice and premium feeling and soft. And then as you get lower towards the bottom of the truck, near where your feet would be, things get a little more plasticky and durable, but may surrender some of that premium feeling that you're hoping for in a truck that costs this much money. Now one thing that jumps to mind for me is that the F-150 is a big vehicle, so they have a lot of surface area that they need to cover in this interior. And for the most part, Ford has done a good job to put the premium feeling materials where you're touching a lot. Your steering wheel, your shifter are still leather, so that's a nice touch. And they've used piano black very sparingly in a low touch area. But looking around your interior, you will find lots of varieties of different colored plastics. With all this being said, I want to circle back that I have loved owning this XLT and loved spending time in it, even on my thousand mile road trip that I just completed last week. This video is more to inform the rest of you of what I've been experiencing in the truck and what you should expect to experience in your 311A XLT. Thanks for watching and I hope you come back for the next video.